I've just received some Oyuma bites, and the Oyuma CX-EAD impresses me the most since it's my first folding electric bike. Before testing the CX-EAD, I tried some electric scooters, but they are nothing like this electric bicycle. The bike doesn't have a full throttle mode, that means you will have to keep pedaling on the road. However, it has the pedal assist mode with three power levels, which are low, medium, and high. You can use the control installed in the handlebar to change the assist level. Here you can also check the current battery level and turn on or off the engine. Once you turn on the engine and start pedaling, you can immediately feel the engine kick in at full power. I'd recommend you use the lowest level on flat roads. The riding performance is not as smooth as I expected. This is probably because Oyuma uses a 6 magnet cadence sensor. The cadence sensor will measure your pedaling rate and tell the motor to give you a high or low assist. Basically, it will give you more power when the speed is low and less power when you are pedaling fast. This works well most of the time, but you might find it inconvenient when climbing up or riding down a hill. The riding style feels a little unnatural, but you need to get used to it when riding this bike. The bike is bulky and heavy. I'd not recommend this bike if you have to walk upstairs, so check carefully if your building allows carrying a folding bike in elevators. Specifically, the total weight of the bike is 43.7 pounds, and the battery itself weighs over 4 pounds. The bike is very heavy, but it is still rideable without turning on the motor. Of course, you can feel the weight and more resistance, but you know that you can completely continue cycling in case the battery drains out. Since I moved to a suburban area, the only way I could commute to work is multimodal commuting with a folding bike. With a folding bike like this, I can ride 8 miles to work without breaking a sweat. Obviously, the CX-E8D can't compete with high-end folding electric bikes like the Brompton Electric or Turn Vectrum. However, notice that the bike costs just one-third the price, so it could reach a wider range of consumers. I really appreciate that the battery is hidden inside the frame tube. You can even take it out with the provided key. Therefore, you don't need to bring the whole bike to a power outlet. The battery life is quite impressive, as I could ride around 30 miles in a single charge. A full charge will take around 5 hours. Riding the bike is also more comfortable than most other 20-inch folding bikes, thanks to the fat 2.3-inch tires. The bike also comes with some good quality components like the Tektro disc brakes, rubber grips, a soft padded seat, a rear carrier pack, and mud guards. My only concern is that the riding position might be too aggressive. To conclude, here are all the pros and cons of the Oyuma bike. Pros. Good quality components. All accessories are included. Long battery life. Comfortable affordable. Cons. The cadence sensor is not so responsive and feels unnatural. Aggressive riding position. Heavy and bulky. All in all, the Oyuma CX-EAD is a decent folding electric bike that doesn't cost you a fortune. This is a very sturdy and well-built bicycle, so we at Bike Folded totally recommend it.